while you're transitioning, Robbie asked a really good question. Um, what about when objects have vanishing points that are off the page? And I don't know if you're going to. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to get to that. Okay, before, good. Before we're through. Okay. So um, three-point perspective. Let's talk about that. When you have three-point perspective, uh, it's going to be all three accesses have converging points. So you can see on, um, let me make my layer, you can see how now these lines are all converging to some point up there. And these ones are all converging to some point off in that direction. And these ones are all converging to some point of that direction. So let me do um, an example of how this might work in real life or in our simulation here. So, um, uh, three-point perspective is usually for situations where the camera or the POV is down looking up or up looking down. And that's when you get really, uh, you can get really extreme um, angles. And so let's say we have a point right here, a point right here, and a point right here. And when you're doing three-point perspective, usually the two top or the two bottom, depending on how you do it, that's where your horizon line is going to be. And this one down here represents another vanishing point deep within the Earth. So this is a horizon line. This is all ground. There's going to be a vanishing point down there. So let me make our cube in three-point perspective. Okay, so now I've got um, this side. This is a face right here. And what's going to happen is um, this point is going to start defining what the rest of this, um, this image is shaped like. So now I have to actually line up my points with these corners. <coughs> so I'm going to do that right here. And then I've got to cut it off, so I'm going to need to go right here like that, go right here like that. And there is a very extreme three-point perspective. This one was, was really hard for me to do. I remember when I was in school, and I just, I would, I couldn't get my brain around it. I can promise you, if you do this a lot, it gets easier. <laughs> So let's do one that's not so extreme, okay? Let's let's do one. Oh, let me get my. I like drawing. As you're doing that, Jessica says, "How often are you using three-point perspective? It seems confusing." It, I'm actually using it a lot more than you think, um, and it's not as confusing as you think. So, what I'm going to do is put a point here, point here. I'm going to do it from the other angle, and I'm going to have a point way up here and I'm going to show you how this, this is going to work. Okay. I'm going to, while you're doing that, <clears throat> I'm just going to draw attention to this. So if you guys notice that he's drawing within a box on his, on his page there, if you imagine that as your paper, it actually makes it easier to work in these two and three point perspectives because you can draw the points off the page. When you're designing, you should design in a smaller, a really small box, like a thumbnail or even maybe a two by three little area that's cordoned off and you can get your perspective a lot better in the initial drawing stages because you have more paper on the edges to put those points out into. It's unnatural to draw thumbnails and 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 small little sketches at first but it, it really is the way that that professionals work when they're when they're composing
And David asks, is there a reason that two point perspective is most commonly used? I would, you're probably going to get into this, but maybe I'll steal your thunder a little bit as you're drawing that. All right. You mostly see three point perspective on large objects. So if you're dealing with interior rooms, you'll see it less, but it actually is occurring everywhere. It's even, it's even happening in a bedroom. Um, just not as, uh, not as drastic as, as, uh, when you're in a city looking up at buildings, that's when you really see it. Or if you look at a ship. So I'm just going to erase out some of these guidelines and it should clear up what these shapes are like. All right, let me go down here and just get rid of some of this uh, horizon line. And now what we have here is we have what could possibly be three buildings on the corner of a, of a street or something um, rising up into the distance like that. So you can see that's when the camera's down low and it's looking up. The other version is up looking down. Mm -hmm. Let me do another version of... Um, what about like a Spider-Man? Is that what you're thinking? Like uh, looking down on buildings maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I'm just going to freehand it here. And I was answering a question earlier that for me, I don't care if my perspective is extremely accurate, just as long as it's believable and it feels right. Or how, how do you yeah. feel about that? Uh, yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, it, like we are just saying, it, it, as soon as that ruler comes out, it, it sucks the life out of whatever it is uh, that you're drawing so so when you were when you were working at blue sky do those guys use rulers for this kind of stuff no 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 i noticed you're doing really fast lines you want to talk about that a little bit um because when you draw fast it um they don't get as wiggly, you know, uh, when you draw slow, mm -hmm. it, you can lose your way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but if you draw fast, uh, and I'm also moving from my shoulder, I'm not drawing with my wrist. This is, mm -hmm. this is drawing with my wrist and my fingers. This is drawing with the stiff wrist and the stiff hand and just moving at the shoulder and it's making straight lines. Lisa has a good question. So just to clarify, if the buildings are on the same plane, they will have the same vanishing points. Is that right? Yep. Well, um, even if these buildings are on different, um, like what if, you know, uh, some cities, like I, I came, I'm, I grew up just outside of Washington, DC and some of those buildings have a, um, a weird, space like there because there's diagonals running through the streets of the cities you know some some streets are on diagonals it creates these funky wonky strips of land and they'll build a building on it but it won't be lined up with all the other buildings mm -hmm. can you draw one in there that's not lined up with those two vanishing points yeah so then you have to then you have to switch switch vanishing points probably so let's say these are all on this but then we have one that um it's going to fill this square, but it's actually crooked. So now it's got a vanishing point that's going off here. 
and another one that's going off, you know, somewhere that way. But it's still on the same grounds, ground plane. So now it's, it's still going to attach to this vanishing point. Okay. So anytime they, they rotate, it's going to shift that vanishing point a little bit. Um, and so that's that's three point perspective, pretty much. So there's, you know, Spider Man's over the, over this place, and it's <laughs> like falling down, or maybe he's got a web attached to a helicopter or something. <laughs> <laughs> that that's three point perspective. All right, and what do we have here? Okay, so now I want to talk about zoom and field of view. I had to get through all that stuff before um, before we got to this. Are we? Are you is, good on time, or do you have time for a few more questions on this three point thing? Let's do three point. Let's go. Okay. Ask the um, questions. Uh, and I apologize. I apologize if I say your name wrong, Thuraya. I think says, uh, I find trouble placing my third vanishing point. Any tips? Um, so the, the placement of that third one is going to be how far in this. It depends on if, if you're looking up at a thing or if you're looking down at a thing. Mm -hmm. So um, you're going to want to keep it, I would say, in a healthy uh, middle between your other two vanishing points. I'm going to throw out, I'm going to, I'm going to kick you a scenario and mm -hmm. you can accept or reject this challenge, Jake Parker. Okay. If you had, if you had two minutes to draw a really quick bedroom, could you do one in two point and three point where you're just showing like the bed? And so, cause you could do it in two point, but you could also do a bedroom in three point, right? Right. Do yeah, you have time to do a really quick little simple sketch? Uh -huh. You Will you accept this challenge? I accept this challenge. Is this coming from you or from a student? It's coming from me. Hmm. This is me challenging you to throw down right now. I was going to save this for part two, but I'll do it now. Oh, I'm sorry. So <laughs> I shouldn't kick you any more challenges. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's fine. That means I'll just come up with something else. For part two. <laughs> All right. So... Um, and that's actually a, a good, a good, probably a good thing to talk about here. Maybe I won't save this stuff for part two. I'll just do it right now.